what is algebra? Algebra, we are just using a letter to represent a number. So for example, if I have got four apples, I'm gonna say I've got four apples. And I'm just using a letter to represent something either known or unknown. For example, if I have a rectangle of length x and x and x plus 2 and x plus 2, these are just statements, formulas, expressions to represent something that is unknown. We don't actually know the length of this rectangle in terms of a number, so I represent it by a letter. So now let's look at simplifying. And what we're doing when we simplify is we are collecting like terms. So x plus x. Now if we've got a letter on its own like a plus a, what this really means is like one apple plus one apple, you have got two apples. So x plus x means one x plus one x, which is two x. So like terms come together. So 5a plus 2a plus 6x minus 2x. Only like terms can be collected. 5 apples plus 2 apples is 7 apples. Then we've got 6 bananas minus 2 bananas leaves you with 4 bananas. Now like terms might not just be a single letter we might have something like this, 6AB plus 2AB. These are still like terms. Instead of just being one particular letter, they're 2AB, but they are like terms, so we collect them exactly the same way. So this goes to also say if we've got our x squareds or x cubeds, and we're looking at like terms. Our x squareds are our like terms. You would collect it in the same way we would collect two apples plus three apples would give us five apples. So that's collecting like terms. Let's now look at some substitution. So if I have 3a plus 4b equals t and a equals 50 and b equals 60. Let's imagine this in real words. I buy three apples and four bananas and the cost of each apple is 50 pence and the cost of each banana is 60 pence. Work out the total cost. The total cost, well I'm buying three lots of apples at 50p each, so three times 50. When I use algebra I like to use brackets to substitute in. So we're substituting in, literally say what you see. We're replacing the b with 60, so we can use brackets to show that. Because when we've got these brackets it means to multiply. Multiply what's on the outside by what's on the inside. Understanding this will help later on. Let's try again. Y equals 3x minus 4z um, and let's say x equals minus 2 when z equals minus 6. So we're just going to put in some negative numbers now just to see how well we can follow that substitution. y equals x is minus 2. So instead of x, I change it for minus 2 and use my bracket. Minus 4 bracket z, z is no longer z, z is minus 6. The brackets mean to multiply, so I'm literally doing 3 times minus 2, plus times a minus is a minus. And then I'm going to do the same here, minus 4 times minus 6. Minus times a minus is 8, plus 4 times 6 is 24. 
minus 6 plus 24, or you can think about that as 24 minus 6, and we can swap it around, get 18. So let's look at another substitution that you might see in context of an exam style question. If we are looking at, say, a quadratic graph. So this is a form of an algebraic expression called a quadratic. I've got a video on quadratics and what they mean, what they represent. But different types of equations in maths. Now let's imagine we have our value of x is minus 2 and we want to work out what y is. So y equals, so we're substituting in our value for x, so where there is an x, it's no longer x, it's minus 2. So that's minus 2 squared plus 3, and then we, instead of the x, we put a bracket to show minus 2. So that's minus 2 squared, minus 2 times minus 2 is 4, 3 times minus 2, that's minus 6, plus 2. So that's 4, take away 6, which is minus 2, add 2, which is 0. So that's substituting. Let's look at expanding. So expanding with algebra. So expand means to times or to multiply out of our bracket. So typically with expand questions we will see something that's being multiplied by stuff inside brackets. So when we've got a number on the outside of our bracket, all that means is we are timesing everything on the inside by what is on the outside. So that's two times x, which is two x, and two times two, which is four. Again, multiplying out this bracket. We times out what's on the outside with what's on the inside. So 3y times 2y, so 3 times 2 is 6, y times y is y squared. 3y times minus 6, that's 3 times minus 6, which is minus 18y. We might be asked to expand and simplify. So let's take 4x plus 5 minus 6 times x plus 3. So the reason why it's expand and simplify is just that this is in two steps. We have to expand first. So 4 times x is 4x, 4 times 5 is 20. Minus 6 times x is minus 6x. Minus 6 times positive 3 is minus 18. Collect your like terms. 4x minus 6x is minus 2x. Plus 20 minus 18 is plus 2. Another expand and simplify that looks slightly different is expanding double brackets. And what we're doing here is really there is an invisible multiply in between our two brackets. So two different methods, you can use the grid method. So we're multiplying x plus 3 by x minus 4 and you fill in your grid. x times x is x squared, x times minus 4 is minus 4x, plus 3 times x is plus 3x. Or we can use our parrot method, because apparently it looks like a parrot. Like so. That one's not working. 
<laughs> there we go, that was apparently looks like a parrot. So x times x, we follow our arrows, x squared. x times minus 4, minus 4x. Four 3 times x is plus 3x. And 3 times minus 4 is minus 12. Collect your like terms. And we've simplified. We may see triple brackets. My suggestion would be to multiply out your first two brackets as we've just done how we would expand double brackets. So x squared plus 5x plus 3x plus 15 and then simplify that x squared plus 8x plus 15. Then use your grid method to multiply the third bracket like so. x squared times x is x cubed. Follow the rest. Make sure you include your signs. So plus 8x times minus 2 is minus 16x. Minus 2 times positive 15 is minus 30. Collect any like terms, so the x squareds go together and the x's go together. So that's x cubed plus 8x squared minus 2x squared is plus 6x squared plus 15x minus 16x is minus 1x minus 30. The other algebra that we will look at is factorising, but I have done a separate video on how to factorise.